It's the 23rd of November today and it's snowing already. We're not not ready for snow. You can see this is a pile of firewood under a tarp which we haven't dealt with yet. We're not ready for the snow. Vincent likes it though. Does this look alright? It's hard to tell. I don't have my lights. I have two of those like softbox things for filming. Normally I bring them but they got chewed up by mice. I don't know if you... If any of you follow me on Instagram you might have seen that. Uh, the mice got my camera equipment and uh, some leather as well. So that's fun. So I can't store those lights in the workshop anymore. So I take them home every night and today I forgot them. So I'm going to stand beside the window. I hope it looks okay. I think it looks okay. I'm still working on some videos of this kind of starting up a business uh, thing, but it's quite hard to film as I go. And it takes, it's very time consuming to film everything as I go and it's kind of slowing me down a little bit. So I decided just to push on with it instead of launch, instead of uploading the videos as well and having that to worry about. I wanted to just get the business up and running and then kind of update everything retrospectively. So that's what I'm in the process of doing now. The business, the business is up and running, everything's launched, I'm making sales, everything's going pretty well. So that's done. I'm now going to start working on the videos more, so I'll be uploading those more consistently. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to also just film myself in the workshop, uh, stuff that I'm working on and have a bit of a chat just start talking about stuff as I'm doing it and yeah maybe you'll maybe you'll enjoy it maybe you won't so I don't know if you can see in the background but I got the stove fitted uh, so in a workshop I now have a, a wood burning stove I don't have insulation in the roof yet as you'll see um, that's one of the next things I'm gonna do because it's snowing already and yeah it's getting cold but yeah, for now I'm just going to start a fire. I've got a few orders for camera straps that I need to get made up, so I'll make those up and I'll kind of show you what I'm working on this week. We got a delivery of firewood a couple of days ago. That's what's still, half of it's still sitting out in the drive, but um, it's not the driest, so I don't know how it's going to go. Let's Let's see.
So, like I said before, I've got a couple of orders to, to make up, so I'm just going to get started and I'll kind of talk you through what I'm doing as I'm doing it. The logical first step is to, to cut some, some straps. The length I go for on these is 110 centimeters. So the way I do my edges now, you'll have seen what I just did there. So I ran the, the edge beveling tool along both sides, front and back, along the, the full length of the strap. And then I apply some, some water, just normal water with a wool dauber. Apply some water, I burnish, and then I run beeswax, just a regular block of beeswax along the edge and I burnish again. I don't use this tokenol stuff which is kind of touted as being the the best product you can use. I don't really like it that much. It leaves a kind of really glossy finish on the leather. I don't really like it. It's super durable, I will say that. It really it is durable, but I just don't like I just don't like that glossy it almost feels like a film of plastic on that sits on top of the leather. I yeah, I never really liked it. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. I'm hoping I'll find a a way of using it that I like, but so far I've not had much luck. So I just stick with the the beeswax. It's 
like the most basic thing is cheap to buy. I, I really like it and I get good results with it. So, uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I, I also don't use the the burnishing tool anymore on the edges. I've seen some people uh, have these kind of jigs set up for belts and straps and things where it, it holds it in place vertically and then you just run the the burnishing tool over. I never I never liked that. I never got used to it. So I just use a, a cloth, not a piece of cotton. I learned this I think from Carter Leather. I think they showed showed it first. Or maybe Don Gonzalez, the saddle maker. I don't know. Anyway, there's plenty of people who do it this way. I'm not I'm not the first. But uh, I found it super quick and it works really well. But I'll I'll show you anyway. It's quite hard to show that on camera, I guess. But yeah, I'm just holding, I'm just wrapping the, the cloth around. I've already wetted the edge and I just pull the strap through. I kind of uh, apply pressure with my finger around, kind of hold it in place and pull it through. You can feel a little bit of heat on it as the, the friction builds up. Not the best angle for showing this, to be honest, but anyway, you get the idea. Don't know how well that shows on the camera, to be honest, but anyway, super clean edge, and that's just with the water so far. Then, like I say, I'll go back with the, uh, I'll just run the beeswax. I'll just run the beeswax over it. And then just do the same again. Yeah, for sure the quickest and easiest way I've ever found to uh, to burnish straps.
this just rounds off the ends of the rivets after you after you cut them. When you snip them off, they're really sharp. I'm not sure if that's shown up. But yeah, when you snip it off, it's really sharp, and then you just use the the dome part of this tool uh, there to to round off the top. It gives a nice effect. Okay, the last thing the last thing I'll do yeah is just to rub some leather balm on the the straps. Uh, I've used the uh, Smiths in the past, which is probably the the most common one, and it's really good. Uh, they just don't ship international anymore, so this is a European one. I'm I'm trying it out just now. Seems uh, seems good, but maybe I'll do a proper maybe I'll do a proper video on it when I'm when I'm finished. Once I've made my mind up about it. Okay, we'll call that good. So usually I'll just leave those for a while and then kind of leave them to dry a little bit and then I'll package everything up. Maybe what I'll do though, we're quickly running out of daylight. So I'll maybe take you outside and actually show you one of these straps, uh, how I use it. Okay, so here is the, the finished strap. So I'm calling this the, the minimalist strap. For now, it seems to be the, the one which is selling the best. So yeah, it's kind of simple. Uh, it's just that single strip of leather, um, a rivet on either side with a, a split ring. And I'm kind of marketing this towards uh, film cameras more. That's how I use it. I've got a bigger strap for the DSLRs, but yeah, for, for these, it's kind of the, the perfect size. Um, so the, the website's live and everything if you want to go and check out all the, the other products I have. But yeah, for now made up a few of these and I'll get them sent out. He's looking for airplanes. Okay, um, I'm gonna call it here. Um, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I'm probably gonna start doing more of them. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so it's goodbye for me. It's goodbye from Vincent. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.